the mobile home diva and in today's video i am going to be making a quick meal um it takes about three hours to make but it, you make it in a crock pot so i wanted to share it with you because this is something that you can put on and it basically cooks itself i have three chicken breasts they are boneless chicken breasts you can use whatever kind of chicken you want you don't have to use chicken breasts you can use chicken thighs you can use um chicken legs chicken wings bone in or boneless it's really up to you but that's all right i'm gonna use garlic powder again i can't give you measurements <coughs> I'm an eyeballer. When it feels right, I stop. Okay? I'm using onion powder. I'm using <coughs> adobo. Seasoning always makes me cough for whatever reason. If you notice, every time I season something on camera, I cough. And especially with this Creole seasoning right here. But I love it. If you ever get the opportunity to try it, you'll stick with it it's really good i think i might have been a little too heavy-handed with that creole seasoning i hope not all right so we got our seasonings in let me bring you closer so you can see what it's looking like so we got our seasoning in let's add our veggies now i didn't have any too many fresh veggies to cut up i'll make a store run tomorrow but i cut up three half cloves of garlic so we're gonna put our garlic in i didn't cut up any onion this time <coughs> we're gonna see how this do i got some red green red and green bell pepper that i cut up the other day now most people <coughs> me that season really got up in my nose and i went and got the rest of this yellow and orange bell pepper too no need in leaving that in the freezer by itself i won't cook again before i go to the store so i loaded it down with peppers different kind of peppers and my seasoning the next thing we want to add is some rotel now i use mild rotel um you if you want to use the hot it's totally up to you put in a whole can of rotel you don't have to drain it off that juice is just fine i'm gonna add in two cans of cream of chicken now this is your recipe right this is your pot so if you want to do a cream of chicken and a cream of mushroom it's totally okay if you want to do two cream of mushrooms and no cream of chicken that's up to you but i use i, I probably would have did a cream of mushroom if i had it but all i got is cream of chicken and the second one is a cream of chicken with herbs i bet that's gonna be good smells delicious i can smell the difference and i can see those green herbs in the soup all right, so we got our cream, of, two cans of cream of chicken and our can of rotel. Now, here's where it get interesting, y'all. You also want to add in chicken broth. Well, I'm looking in the refrigerator and all I have is beef broth. So I'm gonna add a little water and I'm using spring water, not that tap stuff. I, I added a little water and here's where it gets interesting you know we got to improvise with all of this foolishness that's going on in the world you got to do what you got to do so I'm in my spice cabinet and what I'm gonna do is grab me a bouillon cube and throw that in as chicken broth with the water so I'm going to put in one bouillon cube. I don't want it to be too salty. I don't want it to be too chickeny. Because I put in too many bouillon cubes. So I just put in, oh, about a, <coughs> about a cup of water. 
<coughs> I put in about a cup of water and a bouillon cube. Now, y'all to live right here all the time. Right here all the time. Thank you, Jehovah. <coughs> Okay, so now you want to put the lid on. I like for it to start cooking and it all just run together. So I'm just going to put the lid on and let it do what it do. I'm going to set the timer for two hours. No need to go messing around with it. It's okay. Set your timer for two hours and go do whatever it is. That uh, go do whatever it is that you have to do for the evening in two hours I'm gonna show you what you want to add to it next we're gonna cut that chicken up and do some other things and we gonna it's gonna be really good so <clears throat> go ahead and get your spaghetti sticks pulled out be thinking them in mind what cheeses you're gonna add go fold some laundry or do whatever you have to do for two hours We'll come back and check it in two hours, okay? All right, see you in a minute. So I'm gonna tell you what, y'all. I had to come back on and tell you that I, you know, I just, I'm just gonna have to put some onion. I didn't feel like cutting up the onion. This batch of onion makes me cry like crazy, but there's nothing like the flavor of that onion. about 40 minutes left and I just took a peek in and I saw that the juices were bubbling down at the bottom but that the soup was still kind of on the top so I started stirring it and the onions were sitting on the top so I stirred it up it smells delicious and I just wanted to show you what it looks like so we got 40 minutes gave it a good stir we're going to put the lid back on and just let it keep cooking. All right, y'all. The uh, timer just went off. I cut it off. So here's what we're going to do now. First thing you need to do is take the chicken out of the crock pot. change of plans not really caring for the consistency um, I took another bite or two of the dish and I felt like the spaghetti noodles weren't done enough so I gave it another 15 minutes and it's cooking but it's cooking kind of slow 
So here's what I decided to do. Change of plans. We're gonna finish it in the oven. I think I just have too much in this crock pot and I should have um, used my bigger crock pot. So I'm gonna pour the chicken spaghetti into this casserole dish. Really good and creamy. It looks good and everything. Look at there. But it's just not where I want it to be. Oh yeah, and it's sticking to the side. So let's get it out of here. This is hot. So I'm going to pour just a little milk. Just enough to thicken it up. We don't want it to burn in the oven. I want it to be soupier. So you could have added more milk or more chicken broth. This is really thick from the cheese. Remember, we use that Velveeta. And y'all know how Velveeta can thicken up. So, it's still just a little too thick. I'm going to add a little bit more milk. This is called improvise, you guys. When something don't go the way you want it, you got to learn how to make it work. And sometimes that means thinking of what, looking around the corner to figure out what's the best solution. There's always a solution to every problem. So, I'm thinning out that cheese and I'm going to put it in the oven. Felt really thick there and I want to separate it. All right. So I got the milk cooked in, worked in really good. So I am going to put this in the oven for about 30 minutes. I have the oven on 350. Now I don't really know if I need any more cheese in there but I do like a little crust on the top. That's what I was going for with the crock pot and if it had been less in there I would have achieved it if, I, if it had been ready and I could turn it off and just let the cheese melt. But it's still cooking. So we got that oven nice and hot. And we're going to stick it in on the top rack for 30 minutes. Should have been done by now, but something went wrong. And that was totally my fault. I used too small of a casserole dish. So, I'm going to, I'd already cleaned up most of the kitchen. And just needed to clean off the island. So I'm gonna clean off the island, go make up my bed, and in 30 minutes, I'm gonna make me some cereal and milk. That milk look good. And in 30 minutes, we'll come back and check the casserole, okay? We'll see you in a minute. Give you 
ground some ground beef and mixed it in with it and it was really really good so go online get you a chicken spaghetti um recipe and make it it's really good thanks for joining you have a great day hey, baby, baby.